where in the fight against the virus, the state announced new guidelines and timelines for team sports and also what's in store for your kids this summer and into the fall. That's right. Now, Jay Burr has the news conference today. He's joining us now with more on that from Interstate Park, which seems certainly appropriate, Jay, as we get ready to play some ball. Absolutely, Bob. In fact, we even got a team out here uh, already a step ahead of things. You know, they're out here practicing, so you know, not a, uh, a lot of those same uh, guidelines don't have to necessarily be followed for practice. But uh, it's still safe to say that the, this is the most anticipated announcement of reopening, and Governor Asa Hutchinson more than delighted to deliver some news. Let's play ball this summer. And just like that, non-contact team sports can resume play on June 1st. Chase Imhoff helps run softball tournaments in Arkansas and also coaches a girls softball team and he says the struggle has been real. It's just been a long battle for everybody all, all the way around in the sports world. He and many others in Arkansas are ready. At the point we're at right now, I think everybody's itching a whole lot more than I'm itching to get back out there on the field. Oh, they're excited. They're, I mean, they're going to want to play baseball. Gerald Howard with the Arkansas American Legion says he has 48 teams currently ready to roll for American Legion ball this summer, potentially upwards of 90 total. But he says there are priorities first and foremost. Make sure that all of our coaches, the players, their families, our spectators and everything are safe. Imhoff says parks big and small have been preparing for this moment. A lot of the parks around the state are deep cleaning. They're getting extra hand sanitizer, extra all the good needs for the kids so that they can be uh, properly safe at the ballpark. Many of the guidance are similar to outdoor venues and the governor acknowledging that, like many other aspects of reopening, it's going to be a little different, but for good reason. But we wanted to put the protocols in place so that our young people can't have that experience again. Similar to any other set of guidelines, officials in team sports just want people to follow guidance for the greater good. We just don't want anybody sick. If everybody follows the rules, then I think there's not going to be a problem at all. So some simple advice to live by when getting out and about here at the ballparks. Also, too, did want to stress that this guidance is mainly for K through 12 Youth sports it does not apply to intercollegiate sports, which the governor says that will be a separate conversation that they will have on a separate day. Live from Interstate Park here in Little Rock, Jay Bird, KRK, 4 News.